for my first, um, I have two trades here that I took. My first one was um, we had a uh, double top here and a breakdown, so I sold that close. Uh, it closed below bar one, so I thought we'd get at least a little bit lower. The moving average was slightly lower. Um, we also had yesterday's high as a target, but that was further down. Um, but we did have some targets below, so I thought it was reasonable to sell that close. So I sold this close. No, actually, I sold below this bar and 20 cents higher, thinking that um, we'd reverse down from this low and we'd find sellers there when we tested it. So I sold there, sold 20 cents higher, stop above the signal bar, uh, stop above the surprise bar, thinking that we'd find selling pressure up here and get one more leg down from the surprise. It's something that I do often. Um, I think the math works out for it, but instead of getting um, a pause bar, we got a really strong reversal up and a bar that closed near its high. Um, so I, I exited above there, and then after we triggered the buy and pulled back, I bought a position for a second leg, um, for a bull flag, two leg bull flag, and a double bottom bull flag. I just exited there um, as it collapsed. I was hoping for, well, I exited half up here. Sorry, this, I'm, uh, I'm explaining so many different things at the same time, that it might be unclear. But anyway, so I got stopped out of this trade here, and then I bought above the bull signal bar. I, once I bought above the bull signal bar, I scalped out half at 40 cents, and I was looking for the other half at the high of day. But instead, while I was just explaining this, my first trade, we collapsed down here, Sorry to accelerate down. So I just exited the other half break even. Um, so I lost 10 bucks on the first trade and I just made 550 on the second. So I'm down for 445 for the day. I just bought above this signal bar. It's the third push down and we're getting good signal bars. This is a good one. And this is an even stronger one. It's a, it's a little bit bigger than I would have liked, but um, it is a very strong signal bar in a good context, three pushes down. So I think it's an okay trade. I'd like to exit half here at 40 cents. It's a wedgeable flag and a good setup, I think, but um, it's still in a trading range. So um, in that kind of situation, I think it's reasonable to exit part at some kind of scalp profit and then leave the rest to see what we get. So far, three good bull bars, um, two of them closing on their highs. So uh, so far, no reason to exit, but because we're still in a trading range, I think it's reasonable to, to scalp out part. It was um, stalling at 64, so I just exited the half at 64 instead of 68. Uh, obviously, we just got to 68, but um, I think I, I convinced myself that I, I got a little bit antsy because I was looking at the rally and saying it's shrinking bodies, even though it's three bull bars, it's shrinking bodies. And, um, and so when I started to stall there, I, was, I just thought maybe I should exit. I'm gonna look to get out the rest near the high of day if we get there. I'm gonna exit below this bear signal. Didn't get a good fill there. I, I lost four cents. Um, I don't think that's a sell, but we are at the top end of a range, of a trading range, so I think it's reasonable to exit below there and look for some kind of pullback and then buy again. So up two bucks now. I just bought above this bull signal bar. After this strong rally up, um, the breakout from the wedge bull flag, we had two legs down. These three bear bars were enough for me to not buy above uh, this, bot, this bull signal. I was waiting for a second entry buy for uh, a third push, one, two, three. Instead, we got a higher low and a second entry. So uh, I, thought that, I think that's a reasonable buy for a test of the highs.
this bar closes on its low or is disappointing in some way, like closing below its midpoint or bare body or something, I'll probably exit at the close or below because um, at this point when I bought, it was a second entry buy, two legs down, probably gonna get a second leg out from here. If this becomes a bear bar, then now this is just a breakout pullback and we have two legs up. So it'll become a low two after this um, stronger second leg down. So one pullback, two stronger second leg, possible breakout pullback. So if this is a bear bar, it's a low two short. Um, not necessarily for a sell, but I think it would be disappointing enough for me to exit. But for now, we're still in the swing above here and above here. I move my stop to below this bar. It's not a good short, but I think it's been going sideways long enough and it has formed two legs up here. So I think it's reasonable to get out below there. If it accelerated up, I would still be in, but it's just going sideways. And if this triggers, it, um, I think it warrants getting out. It's also break even, so I'm not gonna take a loss on it. Um, so I think it's an okay thing to do to exit. I think, also think it's okay to stay in because I think as it stands right now, I think the odds are slightly higher than 50-50 that we go up 40 cents before going down 40 cents. But it's probably close because we've been going sideways for 10 bars. So if it wants to go up from here, I'll, I'll stay in. But if it comes down below this bar, then I'll, I'll exit. Okay, just exited. So break even trade. 